The final round, the Bulldog Security Products Midland Rally, would be a fitting climax to the Mintex series. I think the tactics for all of us have to go fairly hard today um, because, you know, each of us needs to win and uh, the three, three drivers all need a win. It's not, second place isn't good enough, so uh, that'll be the tactics. The important thing for me to win is to win the championship. If I, if I don't win, then I don't win the championship. Second or third doesn't really matter. Well, it seems to be part of my career, you know. I mean, when we won the British Championship back in, whenever it was, 86, 87, it went to the last stage after a whole year of rallying. We just won the Scottish Championship, basically in the second last stage. So, uh, hey, I love it, you know, it's uh, talk about pressure. <laughs> There's a lot of pressure here today. It was Chris Mellers who set the fastest time on the opening nine-mile stage, Panperthog, six seconds ahead of Murray Grierson. But on the next stage, he was to suffer a puncture. A brake fluid leak would also produce a few anxious moments for the Chesterfield driver and his hard-working co-driver, Brian Goff. Murray Grierson moved up a gear on stage three as he recorded a time 18 seconds faster than Mellor's over the 12 miles of Garthainiog and took the lead of the rally. The Dalbiti driver had disconnected the centre diff on the Subaru with, he claimed, a resulting improvement in the handling of the car. David Galandas was in third place, ready to benefit from any mistakes by the leading duo. Having just won the Scottish title, the Aberdonian was threatening to retire if he could complete the double. Brian Lyle was, by his own admission, off the pace. He was also slowed on stage three when a log became wedged in the steering, leaving him with restricted lock. Steve Hill, meanwhile, was engaged in a close fight with Lyle. He was finding the Mitsubishi a handful on the twistier stages, and he picked up a puncture as well. Ewan Roberts put in a strong performance on his local stages until he was sidelined with a head gasket failure. Steve Smith complained that the bright autumn sun was making it difficult to see where he was going, but he was still destined to finish third overall and fifth in the championship. A strong run by John Bennett Evans was to be spoiled by a puncture on stage four, which would cost him more than five minutes, ending hopes of a top ten place and also winning the Welsh Championship. Dennis Tate would produce his best finish of the season, taking third in class. Drew Gallagher was on his way to seventh overall, with help from a few of his friends. Brian Bell was trying out his new Porsche, although it was no competition for the escort of Graham Evans. Jeff Smith was on his way to taking Class N honours on the rally to finish third in his class in the championship. And in car with Jeff, we see the end of Grierson's championship hopes as his car lies upside down at the side of the road. Meanwhile, Peter Stevenson decides to play to the cameras.
With Grierson out of contention, only David Galandas can threaten Chris Miller's championship hopes. That threat disappears along with a number of gears in Galanda's escort. Gearbox problems forcing him to settle for second place on the rally and in the championship. Another solid run for Steve Hill is rewarded with fourth overall in the rally and third in the championship to lead the rest of the field home. So it's a delighted Chris Mellers who makes it two wins in a row and retain his title in a championship that was in doubt all the way to the end. With Mellers taking the Mintex title, second place goes to David Galanders ahead of Steve Hill, Brian Lyle and Steve Smith, while Murray Grierson, who had two chances to win the series, finishes in sixth place.